Hey love bugs, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley B. Deck and I have about 10 minutes to head to Pilates. But before we do, I wanted to show you this beautiful install I did. I'm gonna be the flyest girl in Pilates, period. I went ahead and did some beautiful crimps with a crimp iron today. So that's the tutorial we're gonna be doing. For this video, I did team up with Andula Hair. You guys know these are my folks, I love them. They sent over this beautiful body wave wig and the icing on the cake is that the lace was pre-cut as well as it is 100% glueless. And when I say glueless, I mean 100% glueless. Now the hairline was also pre-plucked beautifully. So I did go ahead and do it up with some baby hair. You can definitely skip on that if it's not your zhuzh. But yeah, we're gonna be doing some crimps today. It's gonna be so beautiful, so quick, so easy. Cause you guys know, crimps sometimes just take forever. But today, I'm gonna show you how I did them super fast and still got them super defined. So if you're interested in seeing how we got this look, Keep on watching. Jumping right into it. This is the wig straight out of the box. Today we're working with an absolute beauty. She is a pre-cut 5x5 HD lace wig. This is a wear and glow glueless 150% density body wave wig in the length 24 inches. You got a quick glimpse of the inside construction of the cap and this is what she looks like on. I was blown away by the hairline as well as the texture. I love how rich and deep the color on this one is. And of course, this body wave is definitely giving body wave. I pulled a little bit of hair forward so you guys can get a really good look at the hairline. Now, this isn't me customizing the wig. This is exactly how it comes straight out of the box. Literally wear and go and no work needed at all. So I'm going to just begin the customization process for me. You guys know I love to do the dynamic duo. This is my wax stick paired with the electric hot comb. I like to stamp out the parting no matter where the parting is on my units. And I just take that hot comb and really, really, really get in there and make sure that it's as flat and smooth as possible. Now, this step, you can definitely do on a mannequin head i highly recommend like if you are heat sensitive or just nervous about using a hot comb um definitely do it on the wig head before you bond the wig down or install now that we're done with that you guys can definitely see the difference and it's super super flat and neat now we're going to just work on the front or the hairline i kind of just pulled a little bit of hair forward that i wanted to use and this is how it looks I'm going to do a glueless install today. So as you guys can see, this is going to be very simple, easy, and quick. No glue, no bond, or anything needed. I'm just going to do a little bit of baby hair in the front. And I'm just taking an eyebrow razor to kind of just make jagged cuts. I don't want it to be super like neat or uniform. And I also kind of want it to be long because... I'm going to form it so that it has a little bit of shape, but once we're done and like the wig gets a little bit old, I like for the hair to just look frayed and just like it's going in its own way and not necessarily like slicked down, if you will. I'm going to take some edge control from bdeckbeauty.com and I'm just going to work it at the base of the hair and just kind of swoop it a little bit back, a little bit forward, a little bit in just every direction so that it's not so uniform and it just looks nice and just natural in my opinion. And as you guys can see, the hairline is so flat and everything about this one is so awesome that it just looks like it's bonded down and we didn't bond anything down at all. And you'll see in just a moment, this is 100% glueless. Even the cap construction fits my head like a glove. I'm going to add a little bit of concealer in the parting. I love the Too Faced concealer. I believe my color is Chai. I'll have this specific color that I'm using down in the description box. In here, I am using the Ruby Kisses Foundation Powder. Here is a before and after. On the right side is with the powder and on the left wasn't. And I definitely think it makes a subtle difference like to the eye, but it's a huge difference as far as making sure that everything just looks flawless. Now that all of the prep at the base is done, this is the length of the hair. And for me, this is it. Like this is all I need to do. But because it is a tutorial, we are going to definitely do some crimps and just turn it up a notch. I'm going to take this crimping iron and this is a prototype for bdeckbd.com. Let me know if you guys would like to see this crimping iron on the site. And typically when I do crimps, it takes so long. I didn't want to spend too much time. So I'm just kind of like allowing the crimper to sit on the hair a little bit, but really not too focused on making them super deep. I kind of want to be able to brush it out and have like a wavy um like a fun wavy beach wave type of texture opposed to like really really focusing on making it like a hard crunchy like atl style crimp 
Also, I did not use any heat protectant on this style. Feel free to use a heat protectant. Um, you can also use a holding spray if you want the hole to really, really get in there and be super deep. But again, I didn't want crunchy waves. I wanted them to remain soft. You can see through this how soft and beautiful the texture is naturally. So this definitely was very, very easy to accomplish. And I'm taking nice large chunks because this crimping iron is pretty big. You can definitely get away with huge chunks. Just just be sure to make sure that they're small enough that the heat is able to pass through. Also be mindful of, again, using a heat protectant to protect your hair. Holding spray definitely helps with the process and making sure that the um, crimps will stick and last a little bit longer. And that is one side with the crimps and then the opposite side without. I typically don't like to comb them out. I just feel like when you comb them out, um, it kind of messes up the texture a lot faster. And it's kind of like the before and after. To me, the body wave texture that the hair naturally comes with is much better and much more flawless. But again, this wouldn't be a hair tutorial if I didn't do something so here it is after and i did use that oil sheen to go ahead and add a little bit of shine let me know what you guys think of this hairstyle is it a yay or a nay okay so we are done with this look i went ahead and did crimps if you guys seen the beautiful texture that the hair naturally came with i kind of wanted to accentuate that so essentially like when these kind of like fall and kind of just go back to its natural state or like if i decide to just go ahead and like wet it down it'll be more closely to the crimps like the natural texture is more close to the crimps than it would be to like if i would have curled it because originally i was going to go ahead and practice my curls now with this one i definitely love the fact that the hair was so defined it's in such a great shape because I didn't add any product um, and I didn't have to hold the barrel there for too long. I feel like a lot of the times when you do crimps, it just takes unbearably too long. But it is 6.43 and I have Pilates at 7. So literally I have to leave like right now. So I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys the finished look. Now this one did come from Nadula. Let me also show you guys the um, goodies they provided. So you guys know they love to send a good robe. I love the champagne gold or cream or tan color and of course it has the nadula logo in the front as well as the back this is the packaging that the wig came in and this is hd glueless lace is brazilian origin hair and it is 24 inches in length and it was just disinfected this is the inside of the box and inside we did get a melt belt that says Nadula all the way around and it definitely does match that rope so that's a great little combo they also sent me HD wig caps which you guys know these are my current favorite and then they also sent me one of these like um, I'm not sure, quite sure what you call it but I would call it more like a piece of like um, fake scalp or like lace tint tape situation um it's a nice chocolatey brown closer to my complexion but you guys know i like my parting to be a little bit on the lighter side so this one definitely is going to come in handy if you want yours to be a little bit more chocolatey and then these are also some more free goodies that they provided another melt belt and this is like a cheetah print as well as a pack of um a second pack of hd wig caps a nice voluminous pair of lashes as well as a little kabuki brush and you guys know this is great for your purse for travel for touching up your makeup and then this was in the box by itself so i almost missed it but it's a nice little clip it's a beautiful like high quality stone like a rhinestone situation and it does say nadula so how cute would that be like pinned right here super duper duper cute right so yeah i really love the way this one came out be sure to check out Nadula. I actually have another beautiful curly wig that I've already peeped into the box from that I'm going to review for them probably tomorrow or later in the week. So stay on the lookout for that. Look how beautiful and defined that wave pattern is. And I did decide not to go too high up because I kind of like don't like it when it's too like flared out. Once the wave drops, it'll make sense why I didn't go too high up. But yeah, and Ashley, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to check out the description box for a direct link to this beauty here. Also, don't forget to check out the list and links of everything that we used in this video in the description box as well. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches!